Madonna of Humility, a symbol of Mary's virtue and devotion. Madonna of Humility is a painting attributed to Giovanni di Afonsia, an Italian painter active in Florence in the early 15th century. The painting depicts Mary, the mother of Jesus, sitting on the ground with the Christ child standing on her lap. The painting belongs to the artistic genre of Madonna dell'Umilta, or Madonna of Humility, which emerged in the late 14th century and became popular in the early Renaissance. The genre portrays Mary as a humble and devout woman, who renounces worldly honors and privileges and embraces a simple and lowly life. The painting also reflects the theological and devotional trends of the time, which emphasize the human and emotional aspects of Mary and Jesus, and their intimate relationship with each other and with the faithful. The painting is composed of two main elements, the figures of Mary and Jesus, and the background of the flower garden. The figures are surrounded by a golden halo, which contrasts with the dark and plain background and highlights their sacredness and importance. The halo also forms an arch-shaped frame, which creates a sense of intimacy and enclosure for the figures. The frame also echoes the shape of the Gothic architecture, which was prevalent in the churches and chapels of the period. Mary is shown sitting on the ground, which is the defining feature of the Madonna Dali Milta genre. By sitting on the ground, Mary expresses her humility and submission to God's will, as well as her solidarity with the poor and the marginalized. She also symbolizes the earth, which is the source of life and nourishment, and the place where Jesus was born and died. Mary wears a blue cloak, which is the traditional color of her garments, representing her heavenly and royal status. Her cloak is embroidered with the monogram IHS, which is a Christogram, or a symbol of Jesus. The monogram stands for the first three letters of Jesus' name in Greek, Iota, Eta, and Sigma. The monogram also has a cross above it, and three nails below it, which refer to the crucifixion of Jesus. The monogram shows that Mary's cloak is a symbol of her protection and care for Jesus, as well as her devotion and identification with him. The Christ child stands on Mary's lap, which is a gesture of affection and trust. He also symbolizes his human and divine nature, as he is both the son of Mary and the son of God. He wears a white cloth, which represents his purity and innocence, as well as his resurrection and glory. He holds a flower in his right hand, which may be a lily, a symbol of his virgin birth and his role as the Lamb of God. He also looks at Mary with a tender and loving expression, showing his filial and respectful relationship with her. The background of the painting is a flower garden, which adds layers of symbolism and beauty to the scene. The garden may represent the Garden of Eden, the paradise where Adam and Eve lived before the fall, and where Jesus restored humanity's original innocence and grace. The garden may also represent the Hortus Conclusus, or the enclosed garden, which is a metaphor for Mary's virginity and sanctity. The garden is filled with various kinds of flowers, which may have different meanings and associations. For example, the roses may symbolize love, passion, and martyrdom, the irises may symbolize faith, wisdom, and royalty, the daisies may symbolize innocence, purity, and simplicity, and the carnations may symbolize fidelity, devotion, and gratitude. The flowers may also allude to the Song of Songs, a biblical book that celebrates the love between God and his people, and that was often interpreted as an allegory of the love between Christ and Mary, or Christ and the Church.